What's up guys, we are back once again and we are going to be talking about a, another classic movie. We are going to be talking about the movie Weird Science. Debuted in 1985, we have a hell of a cast here, man. We got a, we had a very young Keller Brock, we had Anthony Michael, had, Michael Hall, we also had uh, Ellen Mitchell Smith. We also had a very young Robert Downey Jr. as well, and a very young Bill Paxton. Now, this movie, even though it is weird, guys, because again, I'm a '90s kid, and how much I love '80s movies. But again, I was raised on '80s movies, so the entire premise. If you guys have never seen Weird Science. So let me give you the rundown of what this movie is. You have two friends, Gary and Wyatt, who are the nerds of the group. They are in high school and it's just, you know, they get picked on. They're, you know, the geeks of the school, the losers. And they try to get uh, girlfriends. It just doesn't work. And Wyatt's brother... Uh, always tries to give them crap, who's played by Bill Paxton. Um, I, I want to say he was in the military at that time. And then after that occurs, we see where, I think, and again, it's been a long time since I've seen this movie. But we have where they generate a live, <laughs> like from like a Barbie to... A live woman that is played by Kelly Brock, and she becomes like it, it, it's weird, but it's funny. Um, who's named Lisa, and, and she becomes like their their girlfriend slash uh, um, not really love interest, but like it, it's hard to say. It, it's like love interest slash girlfriend slash best friend. Who teaches them not only about the opposite sex, but also how to have independence, how to be an adult, and how to have fun, and all this other kind of stuff that, again, you can't help but, but love. And again, this really goes into a, a lot of just how great the 80s were. Um, also, some of the comments in here is absolutely incredible. Like, one of my favorite comments is where you have where Lisa brings them to a bar and they get trashed and I, and I when I say trash man they get so drunk where uh Anthony Michael Hall's Larry saying like I love this girl so much and he's like you know what the bitch did to me he goes she need me in the nuts and they're like the bitch need your nuts he goes bitch need my nuts man I, that is probably one of the most classic lines of this film or the whole where uh, Wyatt's trying to drive them home after they're drunk, and uh, Gary's in the back, and he's like, at least he's like, are you okay? And he's like, well, my nuts are halfway up my ass, but other than that, I'm perfect. <laughs> and what's weird about this is uh, Robert Downey Jr. played one of the bullies in here, and when you see him, you know it's him. Obviously, he's got that you know classic smug look on his face. You know, different uh, parts of the movie. And again, I love Robert Downey Jr. I love Robert Downey Jr. I think he's a great actor. Um, he did a great job with this role at the time. Um, Kelly Brock did an amazing job. She was she was she was seductive. She was sexy. She was funny. She was sarcastic. A lot of a lot of these moments. And I really doubt that they would be able to redo this movie. I mean, some of these comments. You just can't redo, especially Bill Paxton being just that that asshole, man. Like he was such an asshole in this movie to uh, Gary and Wyatt, man. Because there was one scene, where, and they just come home trash, and he's just like, "How about you do this?" And it was served up in a dirty ashtray, and then he's trying to be a dick to Lisa, and Lisa turns him into like a mountain of crap. And he's getting all pissed, and he and she's like, "Well, don't make me do this to you." And then you see where he turns something else. <laughs> oh man, guys, the music in here was absolutely amazing. Um, the the drama, just just everything about this was great. I I, I love this movie. It's a very 
it, it's a classic. It is. I don't care what anyone says. This movie's a classic. It'll always be a classic. Uh, you guys can definitely watch this movie. It's out there online. It is um, on Amazon Prime, YouTube, Apple TV. Watch it online. Get the DVD. I'm definitely gonna have to get the get the DVD to add to my collection of movies that I already have. Again, I really don't think that they're ever gonna be able to redo this. I, I highly doubt it. I know it was in the '80s. And I really doubt, keyword, I really doubt they would want to do this uh, now. And it's not like, oh, well, we got to have a, a woman, uh, you know, this and that, or, or oh, this. It, it, it would be so messed up now with what they would probably try to do and not and just leave a classic alone. That, that's all I got to say is don't ever try to redo this movie because it's, it's too much with just the one-liners and the way it was back then and then also with the music the the time frame and everything else I, I think they did try to make a series out of this if I'm not mistaken I think um, they did try to do a uh, I think they did didn't they it was either weird science 2 or just I'm trying to remember. Again, I'm trying to remember. Uh, I think they only did one, if I'm not mistaken. Because they kept trying to, I think, do a second one, I think, and it didn't work out very well. Or they tried to do a series of it, and the series only did so well. I, I, man. Again, guys, I've only seen the movie, but I'm definitely going to have to check to see if there is a series or not. But uh, apparently, from what I'm seeing, there was a series. Now... Definitely going to have to check this out, but what was your overall thoughts of Weird Science, guys? Was it great? Was it bad? Was it okay? Was it funny? What was your overall thoughts of it? I personally loved the movie. It was great, and I, like I said, I don't think they're ever going to be trying to redo another movie like this in the future. If they do, I'll be shocked. But what is your overall stance of Weird Science? Please let me know down in the comments down below if you guys are new to your channel. Uh, leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. What was your overall thoughts, uh, like I've said before? Have you guys even heard of this movie? Have you guys seen the movie? What was your overall stance? Let me know down in the comments down below, and I'll be seeing you guys as always on the next one.